some credit to Texas. And, um, you know, they made shots, played really well offensively tonight. Uh, they were good defensively, but you know, after the first five minutes, for whatever reason, the first probably eight minutes, um, you know, we got stagnant, um, gave up too much true penetration, and then you know, we just lost for Breeze a bunch. I mean, he's the one guy we knew we couldn't leave or couldn't lose, but. Um, you know, just not playing great right now, and uh, from uh, you know, I'll, I've just got to figure out a way to get us playing better. Two and a half weeks ago, we were playing really, really well. Um, these last two and a half week stretch, we hadn't played great. Played pretty well the other night against Oklahoma at home, but just hadn't played great lately. And we've got to figure out if we've got to, you know, make some, you know, whether it's tweak some things offensively, defensively, you know, uh, just to get our rhythm back. I'm not sure. I think that you stay together and make sure we don't. Um, Get used to or accustomed to losing. Um, you got to know it's unacceptable. It's the way we're losing. Um, we just got to stay with our habits. Uh, make sure, we're, make sure they're good habits. And I mean, I have no doubt that we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out um, and down the stretch. Um, you know, without Cam, uh, you know, Joe, we got George coming off the, coming off the bench. You know, George brought a spark. I think you know early in the game. You know, with just his defensive presence and you know interrupting shots and, and around the room. And um, he also you know got a couple hoops for us and. And uh, you know, he just re runs the floor too. So um, you know, without Cam, I think we we, we got another guy coming in and stepping in for him. That's gonna be good. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's the part. I think that's a you know, I think that's a role you play as a coach. You know, I mean, I want to win. I mean, we're we're twenty nine, but you know, you do want you want to change people, you want to impact people. You know, I sure more rather be known for that than all the other stuff that you guys write about. You know, so. Um, He's done a lot of really other good things too. You know, I got talked to him. I said, you know what sucks about this? I'm gonna have to sit up there on Sunday, Saturday. I'm gonna have to answer all these questions about you, and they don't know that really you've done a pretty good job up in this point. But you know, you you, you got to be disciplined though. This is how life is. You know, just if I did something, I got to be disciplined for it. You know, so um, you know, but I you know. I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know why. I can't give you a great answer for that outside of, you know, I do, you, you do want to impact kids, you do want to impact people. That's the reality of it. And, you know, that's it. I mean, Would he have made a difference you, today? No, I mean, maybe, I mean, you could say, but I mean, if you look at George's line and Mike's line, it's a pretty decent line. I don't know, five spots would really, would really hurt us tonight. Uh, I went out there and I was ready. Uh, when my number was called, I was just ready. That's, that's my main goal. Whenever my number was called, just be ready. And that's what I went out there and did. When did, you, when did, when did all this camp stuff happen? Uh, middle of the week? The situation with Coach Paul, is, that, that's something I'm going to have to talk to him about. Yeah, okay. So, how much is the, you mentioned you getting your number called? How tough is the waiting? Um, it's, it's a tough process. Uh, it's a very, very tough process. Uh, but sitting here, talking to Solo, talking to my father, uh, they helped me get through that a lot. So, What's it like then to finally be able to get out and get some, you know, more than the one minute you got at PCU? Um, it, it feels good, you know, just be able to play my game and just be able to, you know, have the confidence that I know if I, if I, make, if I shoot this shot, and if it misses, I'm not going to get pulled. Or if I if I shoot the shot and I missed, I missed an uh, open look that I have the confidence to make the shot. So. The team's recent struggles. Do you feel like you can bring some fresh energy? I mean, that, turn this thing around. That's my goal. Every day, to bring energy, whether it's in practice, whether it's in the game. Uh, everybody knows that I'm an energy type of guy, so I want everybody to feed off of my energy. So when I'm coming in the game. Lindell already knows, hey, Lindell, let's pick it up, let's pick it up. Bab already knows, let's pick it up. We got to win. We got we to gotta do this, we got to do this, we got to do this. It's all on the defense. So whenever I'm in, I'm letting everybody know, like, let's go. This is the time. How did it feel, I mean, to, to get extended run in the Big 12 game? I mean, you feel like you belonged out there and were competing, you know, right along with everybody? I definitely belong out there. Um, but I'm not going to say that I don't have to work on anything. For sure. Uh, I got to work on a lot of stuff. Um, so whenever I do get the chance, I'm just playing my game, and do what I was taught to do. What's your fa your father being the athlete? What's what's he what's he told you throughout you know your, your situation? Well, 
Uh, y'all, y'all can see my father's a big tweet man. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he tweets a lot, so like sometimes he'll tweet me uh, like good quotes before the games and stuff like that. Um, so it's just those using those quotes and listening to what he says, how uh, sometimes he didn't play, and he just had to live with that decision by the coach. So I got to live with the coach's decision. Yes, sir.